Hello and welcome to this week's video. Finally, after a lot of searching, I found a Generation 2 My Little Pony in need of repair. As you can see, this pony is not particularly damaged, but it's just very dirty. So I think it can look much better after a little treatment. For those who are new to G2s like me, <laughs> this pony is called Ivy. She is a year one Generation 2 pony. And as you might be able to tell, she's missing the crystals in her eyes, her hair is very stained and she needs a body clean. So let's get started. The first thing I do when I receive a pony for restoration is clean it. Usually with soap and water, sometimes with OxyClean. In this case, I think soap and water should be enough because I can't really see any strong stains or marks. So while we do this, let me tell you a little bit more about the Generation 2 ponies. The G2s were introduced in 1997. They only run until 98, except in Europe, where they continue to exist until 2003. Oh, sounds like they stopped existing, <laughs> they stopped being manufactured, I mean, in 2003. Ivy, the one we're cleaning now, was one of the first seven original G2s. She is a magic motion pony and her pose is actually named after her, the Ivy pose. These ponies had a mechanism connecting the head and the front leg. When you move the leg, the head moved too. And as you will see in this video, this kind of still works, just that the head is very loose. And because this is my first G2, I didn't want to risk opening it. I didn't find enough information on how to do this and I have to experiment a little. <laughs> so in this video, we're only going to clean her. And then at some point, I hope to come back and show you how to fix the mechanism. Of One thing that I think will be really good for this IV is to do my usual hydrogen peroxide and UV light treatment. Oh my god, that's difficult to say. <laughs> because I think this color, um, especially if you look at the leg, the color of the body is not the one it should be. So I'm going to apply some cream. This is also known as hair salon cream. I'm going to put her in the UV chamber for about 48 hours, changing the cream every 12 hours. And because Ivy has this beautiful fuchsia hair that I haven't seen in any of the G1 ponies, I might be wrong, but I don't think this shade was used in them, I'm going to protect it with some tissue paper. Because I'm a little scared the UV light will, will turn the fuchsia into a soft pink. And I have to say that by this point, this G2 in particular had started to grow on me a lot. <laughs> I think it was the hair color because it was so new and so pretty, uh, but also, I don't know, the pose, the just the, the design of these toys. I, I had never actually paid attention to the G2s, as you might have guessed, I grew up with the G1s and those are my, they're, they're still my favorite today, but I don't know, there's something about this, this Ivy that made me kind of fall in love with her. So, enough of that, <laughs> back to the cleaning. I used my bigger UV box and I was very happy to see the result because the color had already changed quite a bit. As you can see here, the original uh, toy was kind of greenish and the clean one is more light blue. And now it's time to add this little jewel to the eye. <laughs> And I luckily had this collection of, I don't know if they're called jewels, um, ah, ah, when I turned it I saw it, <laughs> it's nail art crystals. And they come in different sizes, luckily the second smallest fits perfectly in the little hole for the eye. I don't have another one of these ponies so I'm not sure if the crystal is supposed to be blue, but I kind of like the silver one because you can see it a bit more. I'm going to use super glue, you can also use Gorilla Glue because they are safe for vinyl. And just because I tend to make a mess very easily, I'm going to use a, a little piece of paper so I can put the glue in there and then use one of these uh, dental tools actually <laughs> to put the glue in the pupil hole. And there you go. I like the way this looks. I'm not sure if it's very accurate for the G2s, but I like it. So let's do the same for the outside. And now I like this pony even more. <laughs> the 
there are only a couple of hair plugs missing. Luckily, I also have some of this hair left over from a different project, so I'm going to fill this to it. I'm going to be using nylon hair, my favorite because it's so easy to work with and I love the colors, <laughs> and my rerouting or rehairing tool. Luckily, most of the nylon hair already separates in little strands you can use for the rehair. They are a bit smaller than I like, so I use one and a half, which can be a bit difficult to achieve, but then the result is much nicer in my opinion. So I'm just going to add these two that are missing. I'm not going to mix the new hair with the old, like I do sometimes when I mix colors, because the shade seems to be exactly the same. So all I need to do now is to cut the new strands and that's it. One more thing I want to do is to retouch this symbol. It's just on one side that is a little damaged. And luckily, again, I can use my favorite acrylic paint, the purple one. <laughs> so let's do that. Oh, and because I have seen this question in the comments a few times, the brushes I use are called sometimes miniature painting brushes. They're the ones used, for example, for Warhammer minis. And they work really well. They, I don't use any particular brand. I just I just have a few brushes from different sets. All you need is just a very thin brush. It doesn't really matter what it's made of, in my experience at least. And although I'm not following my own advice in this case, it's always better to do many layers that are watered down instead of uh, one or two thicker layers. Because you will be able to tell the difference by the texture. It just looks better if you do watered down layers. Now for the hairstyling, the first thing I want to do is to make sure it's very soft and there are no knots, so I'm going to use some fabric conditioner. And get ready for some interruptions, <laughs> please don't judge me. This cat is not hungry, all she wants is pets. And yes, this is one cat, not multiple ones. <laughs> So yeah, I kept applying the fabric conditioner until the hair got all soft and untangled. Then I did the same for the mane. And this is what it looks like after. Might not look very different, but it does feel a bit different. Ivy can tell. So now I'm going to use my perm rollers. And in this case, I'm just going to use one for the mane and one for the tail because I tend to do too many curls, <laughs> too tight ones and although this will not work as I expected <laughs> I'm trying to go for a more relaxed style is the final result. <laughs> as I said, I wasn't expecting to fall in love with this G2 as much as I did. Now I'm really looking forward to doing more of this. And like I had mentioned, it's it's quite difficult to find uh, G2s in bad condition. I'm not sure if people took better care of them, kids in the 90s <laughs> compared to the 80s, or if moms have thrown them away, hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, if you ever see some on sale in the UK, please let me know <laughs> because I would really love to, to do more of this project. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my videos and for sharing this hobby with me. I, I should say this more frequently because I am very, very lucky for this community. So <laughs> thank you again and have a great week.